Hello, welcome to IT Experts YouTube video series. In this video, we will go over the key job and object oriented programming, OOP, concepts in 10 minutes. Question What is object oriented programming, OOP? OOP is a programming technique in which programs are written on the basis of objects. Object oriented programming deal with objects rather than functions slash procedures, where software objects resemble real life objects. Example, people places things. Now let's compare the procedural and object programming. Procedural focus on functions slash procedures OOP focus on objects. Question, what is class? Class is an entity or template a person or a place or a thing can be class or template. Example, student is a class car is a class house is a class rectangle is a class bank is class. Software objects are conceptually similar to real world objects. Class has name, attributes and operations. In Java, first character of Java class is capital. Example, for a student class attribute, id, name, email, phone operation, enroll, check grade, take exam. In UML, unified modeling language, diagrams, class is represented as a rectangle shape. First compartment, a class name second compartment, list of attributes third compartment, list of operations, behaviors. Some objects may have only attributes some objects may have only operations. Most objects may have attributes and operations. Let's compare, class versus instance. Class is a template or blueprint, a generic representation of entity, object, instance is one copy of template or object instance is created from the template programmer during development time creates a class during the run slash execution time, instances are created. Example. Pearson P1 equals new person P1, is an instance, copy of class, person, is a class or template new, operator is used to create instance. Tree pine tree equals new tree pine tree, is an instance tree as a class template. Now let's compare, class versus object versus instance. Objects and object is a basic unit of object oriented programming. It represents real life entities like computers, cars, tables, etc. When we create a class, object can be defined as an instance of that class. Class A class is a user-defined blueprint or prototype. A class contains a logical part of the code in the form of methods. We create objects for the class to access this logic of class. These are key OOP characteristics. Encapsulation capability to hide the data. Aggregation contains slash ownership relationship among objects. Inheritance allow to set up parent-child relationship among objects. Polymorphism one definition can have multiple implementations. Message passing object can communicate to each other via methods. Garbage collection Java automatically clear unused objects from the memory. A rectangle class. With two attributes length width. One constructor rectangle with two parameters and few methods. To create a rectangle instance use the new operator as shown. What's a constructor? Constructor is a special method with the same name as a class name. Constructor is called during the instance creation time. Example, rectangle rect equals new rectangle, 2, 4. After new operator, we are calling the rectangle, 2, 4, constructor. By default, each class has empty constructor. One class can have multiple constructor. Constructor can call other constructor by this. A class without constructor is called abstract class. Now let's talk. Inheritance. Inheritance is an important property of OOPS. When we write a class suppose A and write methods inside it, now we want to use methods or variables of class A so instead of creating the same methods inside the new class we use methods and variables of class A, this is known as inheritance. Here class A is called parent class and class that uses class A's properties is called the child class. In inheritance, child class objects acquire all the properties and behaviors of a parent class. Child class can call parent class method or constructor using super keyword. Constructor is called super parameters. Method is called super dot method name. Inheritance is a relationship employee as a base or parent class. Faculty is a child class. Admin is a child class. Is a means type of relationship. Faculty and admin has many things common but certain things are different. Common items, 
Attributes, Operations, will go in a base, Employee, Class. Now let's talk. Aggregation, has a, Relationship. College has students. College has department. Has a, Relationship means, Aggregation or ownership. Represented as a diamond. Empty diamond, Aggregation, means students can exist, or survive, even if college is closed. Filled diamond, composition, means department cannot exist if the college is closed. This is a strong aggregation, where the department object life cycle is controlled by the college object. What's multi-level inheritance? Inheritance is an important property of OOPS. When we write a class suppose A and write methods inside it, now we want to use methods or variables of class A so instead of creating the same methods inside the new class we use methods and variables of class A. This is known as inheritance. Here class A is called parent class and class that uses class A's properties is called the child class. In inheritance, child class objects acquire all the properties and behaviors of a parent class. Java does not support multiple inheritance, only one parent class is allowed. Example. Dog is an animal, means dog cannot have another parent class. But Java support multiple level inheritance as shown in the diagram. Example. Child, greater than parent, greater than grandparent. What's polymorphism? Polymorphism means many forms. If a single task is performed in different ways, it is known as polymorphism. Polymorphism in Java is achieved by method signature and declarations. In Java, polymorphism is mainly two types, overloading and overriding. What is overloading? In one class, if we have two or more methods with the same name but with different parameters then this concept is known as overloading. Overloading is used to support the backward compatibility. Where the old system is using old method. But the new system is using the new method with some additional parameters. In both cases method name is same but parameters are different. What is overriding? If parent and child classes both have a same method name then that concept is called, overriding. In this case, child class can customize its behavior by leveraging its own method than parent's class method. Example. Shape is a base class or parent class. Has an area method. And. Rectangle can be a child class of shape, can write its own area method. Circle can be be a child class of shape, can write its own area method. A class diagram with is A and has a relationship. Object Relationships Diagrams The following UML diagram shows type of relationship among objects. Rectangle shows a class or object. Line shows the relationship. Solid line with triangle shows is a relationship. Dotted line with triangle shows interface realization. A class with diamond shows is a container class. Quiz time. Take few minutes of time and answer the following questions. In case, if you are not very clear, please rewind the video and review the materials till you are clear with the answers. In your Java interview, you may expect some of these questions. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands on computer training with labs, homework, group projects prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in Resume, LinkedIn, staffing support, provide tech, references, in-person, online class, class retake options, and more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our latest video. Hello, welcome to ITN.